Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. The 52 Hertz whale, colloquially referred to as 52 blue, is an individual whale of unidentified species that calls at the unusual frequency of 52 Hertz. This pitch is at a higher frequency than that of the other whale species with migration patterns most closely resembling the 52 Hertz whales, the blue whale, 10 to 39 Hertz, and the fin whale, 20 Hertz. Its call has been detected regularly in many locations since the late 1980s and appears to be the only individual emitting a whale call at this frequency. However, the whale itself has never been sighted. It has only been heard via hydrophones. It has been described as the world's loneliest whale, though potential recordings of a second 52 hertz whale, heard elsewhere at the same time, have been sporadically found since 2010. 52 hertz is equivalent to the musical note G number one, which is the 12th lowest key on a conventional 88 key piano keyboard, or the fourth finger position on the lowest string, E1, of a double bass. Characteristics the sonic signature is that of a whale albeit at a unique frequency. The call patterns resemble neither blue nor fin whales, being much higher in frequency, shorter, and more frequent. Blue whales usually vocalize at 10 to 39 hertz, fin whales at 20 hertz. The calls of this whale are highly variable in their pattern of repetition, duration, and sequence, although they are easily identifiable due to their frequency and characteristic clustering. The calls have deepened slightly to around 50 hertz since 1992, suggesting the whale has grown or matured. The migration track of the 52 hertz whale is unrelated to the presence or movement of other whale species. Its movements have been somewhat similar to that of blue whales, but its timing has been more like that of fin whales. It is detected in the Pacific Ocean every year beginning in August, December, and moves out of range of the hydrophones in January. February. It travels as far north as the Aleutian and Kodiak Islands, and as far south as the California coast, swimming between 30 and 70 kilometers, 20 and 40 miles, each day. Its recorded distance traveled per season has ranged from a low of 708 kilometers, 440 miles, to a high of 11,062 kilometers, 6,874 miles, in 2002-03. Scientists at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution have been unable to identify the species of the whale. They speculate that it could be malformed or a blue whale hybrid. The research team is often contacted by deaf people who wonder whether the whale may also be deaf. Whatever biological cause underlies, its unusually high-frequency voice does not seem to be detrimental to its survival. The whale's survival and apparent maturity indicated is probably healthy. Still, its call is the only one of its kind detected anywhere, and there is only one such source per season. Because of this, the animal has been called the loneliest whale in the world. Calls picked up by a sensor in California in 2010 suggest that there may be more than one whale calling at 52 hertz. History The 52 hertz whale was discovered by a team from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Its call was first detected in 1989 then again in 1990 and 1991. In 1992, following the end of the Cold War, the U.S. Navy partially declassified the recordings and technical specifications of its SOSIS anti-submarine hydrophone arrays and made SOSIS available for oceanographic research. As of 2014, the whale had been detected every year since. In media television, the television movie CSI. Immortality written by Anthony E. Zyker mentions the 52 hertz whale, aka the loneliest whale by former CSI Gil Grissom played by William Peterson. Film The Loneliest, a short mockumentary film about two women searching for the loneliest whale, was made by Lillian T. Merrill with support from an Alfred P. Sloan Foundation production grant. The title of the Taiwanese movie 52 hertz, I Love You, 2017, is inspired by the whale, using it as a metaphor for the loneliness experienced when looking for love. The animated short film, The Phantom 52, premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in January 2019. The film was written and directed by Jeff Marslett and stars Tom Skerritt as The Loneliest Whale. The feature-length documentary, The Loneliest Whale, The Search for 52, directed by Joshua Zamon, the director of Cropsey, 
and executive producers Leonardo DiCaprio and Adrian Grenier, was commercially released by Bleecker Street on July 9, 2021. The film follows Zaymon and a group of five scientists and oceanographers on a quest to find the whale off the coast of California. Funded through a Kickstarter campaign, the film received generally positive reviews among critics, holding an approval rating of 86% based on 35 reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Time Stephanie Zacharek called the film both invigorating and calming to watch, while Katie Walsh wrote in The Lowe's. Angeles Times that the film is a modern-day Moby Dick with a conservationist bent that surprises, delights, and will keep you on the edge of your seat. Sherry Linden of The Hollywood Reporter wrote that the film's epilogue caps the action with a rapturous surprise, referring to the sighting, complete with film footage, of a blue whale-fin whale hybrid, believed to be the source of the 52 hertz calls. Music Montreal-based saxophone player and composer Colin Stetson's 2013 album New History Warfare Volume 3. To see more light included a song entitled Part of Me Apart From You. Though not explicitly written about the 52 hertz whale, when first performing the song live, he has remarked on at least several occasions that the story of the loneliest whale resonated deeply with his composition. This whale is alone in a large body of water, swimming, singing its song, calling for a likeness it will never find. He said by way of introducing the song at a performance at Toronto's Great Hall on May 19, 2013. When I play this song, I can't help but think about this whale who right at this very minute is singing alone. South Korean group BTS's 2015 album, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, PT2 includes the track Walleen 52, which explicitly uses the 52 Hertz whale as a metaphor for the alienation from others often felt by adolescents. The English folk duo Catherine Roberts and Sean Lakeman included the song 52 Hertz on their 2015 album Tomorrow Will Follow Today. The song is about the whale, and includes the line, 52 hertz, 52 hertz, I'm singing a love song that no one can hear in the chorus. Books in 2020, Japanese novelist Sonoko Machida published the novel 52 hertz whales, in which the anomalous whale serves as a metaphor for voiceless, lonely people who find each other by chance. In 2014, American writer Leslie Jameson published an essay in the Atavist magazine about the 52 Hertz whale's popular appeal as a metaphor for loneliness and perseverance. The piece was later included in Jameson's 2019 essay collection, Make It Scream, Make It Burn.